Hello, beautiful souls. Coming to you today with a recording touching in on the new moon in Gemini that we have coming up on May 30th, 2022. In the mutable air sign of Gemini, also known as the twins. Ruled by the planet Mercury, the planet of thinking. The sign of thinking. The sign of the mind. This sign represents the third house where we can have a, a lot of intellect, a lot of messages coming through, a lot of communication, a lot of information being put out there. And so at the time of this new moon, we have the ruling planet Mercury in the retrograde where we're asking to review, to rethink, to rejuvenate, and reinvent our perspectives, our consciousness, our mind, known as the computer of our vessel, right? And I think this is an opportunity to plant a new seed with this new moon. Sun conjunct the moon, meaning kissing side by side in the sign of Gemini. It is taking place at nine degrees, three minutes. So we will be reading the Sabian symbol. And so I was doing my quiet time and my meditation and my breath work before I came on and... What really came through for me to share initially is that it's so important to have clarity within our minds right now, to take it down into our heart, whether it be thoughts, whether it be information that you've taken in, and really making sure that we're speaking from our truth when we're sharing our information with others when we're communicating with others I feel like it's important for us that we're being supported to have a really um, sharp clarity within our mind and making sure we're listening to that making sure we're not taking forward action until we're really sure of ourselves because at the same time of this new moon in Gemini in this air sign ruling the intellect and the mind and messages and communication we have mars the planet of action the planet of cardinal fire it can be the planet of warring as well in a conjunction with the benefic planet of jupiter expanding anything jupiter touches it makes it bigger so we want to make sure that we're not warring within ourselves. We want to make sure that we're having that clarity of mind before we take forth in our action and decision making. So Gemini energy known as the twins, on the high aspect of it, it is the merging of the heart and the mind with the sun and the moon being side by side. It's the energy of spirit, fire, life force and the spirit of soul heart truth bringing those twin energies that duality energy down in into us and gaining the clarity that we need being able to rethink and make different decisions mercury is back in the sign of taurus at the moment retrograde but then we'll later move forward coming into the gemini energy as well on friday june 3rd so as it stations it'll become even more powerful so making sure you know you're giving yourself more time to possibly sit and meditate to gain clarity to plant the seed of a clear thinking mind merging with the heart so that you can
percolate in that, maybe changing your perspective, maybe changing your mindset. The Jupiter-Mars conjunction on the high aspect, again, can be just giving us some feeling of we're ready to take action, big, bold action. Again, everything has a polarity right on the Earth plane. The Gemini energy on the low aspect can be just taking in so much information, even if it's not needed. So quieting that busy intellect that may be going over and rethinking and reviewing slowing down with the Taurus energy um, at the new moon we have Uranus the north node where the collective energy needs to head towards in the sign of Taurus along with the planet of beauty and love and harmony which is Venus so we have an opportunity to work with all of these energies right now we have a huge pile up in a Gemini Taurus Aries the majority of the planets um, are in those three signs. So wherever you have Taurus, Aries, Gemini, look to see which houses are being truly activated huge. And again, we have some big players as well. We have Pluto in the sign of Capricorn. Is Pluto retrograde at the time of... Yes, Pluto is retrograde at the time of this new moon. So that deep transformational energy that we were all feeling with the lunar eclipse in Scorpio in the sign of the structures, perhaps rethinking on, you know, now I have more clarity on this system, this structure, this hierarchy was not possibly in benefit of me and I don't resonate with it anymore. Um, Saturn and Neptune will later go retrograde. I don't know if that's in June or July. I believe June, but for now, as we have the ruling planet of this new moon in retrograde motion, it's still a very inner time. And perhaps with that Mars-Jupiter conjunction happening, maybe this is a time for your, you just to not take a great forward action, but gain clarity in this simmering moment but it allowing it to fuel your spirit of something that needs to change, a pattern that no longer works for you, people who no longer work for you, a mindset that may no longer work for you. So we are going to pull an angel and ancestors oracle to start out this reading before I do the Sabian symbol to see what kind of messages would like to come through. God, creator, source of the universe, great spirit. We give thanks for the opportunity to have this earthly experience as spiritual beings. We ask for your guidance. We ask for the clarity in our minds, the peace in our hearts, and the balance in our bodies. We give thanks for the messages that come through today, for guidance, for awareness, for encouragement. We give thanks for breath. So it is. So if you're feeling a busyness within you, get the energy moving through you. Allow for that energy to work for you, not against you. Later on, when we move into Virgo season in the fall, that is also ruled by Mercury. That's a time when the Virgo energy, also represented by Mercury, will sort out Right now, Gemini on the downside can just take in so much information that it's overwhelming. Sharing it, taking it in, but have great discernment right now doing that. And how you can balance that Gemini energy within you is to pause, to review, rethink, and allow spirit messages to come through from your higher self so you can gain clarity on the decisions and what information is truly in resonance or important to you in the things that are not. Because right now, 
if you tune into the main, we got the Air Guardian. If you turn tune into the main stream, even social media, on all of the information coming through as communication, you can be overwhelmed. You can be consumed by the lower vibration of fear, separation, division. The majority of us want peace because the earth plane is difficult as it is we don't need more of the fuckery and those structures that are being revealed with the pluto and capricorn are showing their asses right now step away from that trust your own intellect clarity if you have an old thought pattern that needs to be broken of fear doubt and worry Break it. Silence yourself. Clear your chakras. Meditate. Move the energy through you and then sit in contemplation. The air guardian is the overall energy for this Gemini new moon. Gemini is an immutable air sign and this is telling us shift in perception. So you may have already experienced a shift in perception with the information, the intellect, the dialogue between um, all of the different communication out there. This perhaps is asking you to plant a seed at this new moon in Gemini to be able to be open, to be fluent, to be able to shift your perspective. That is beautiful and she is beautiful, is she not? How do you shift your perspe perception? Sit with the ethers, meaning your spirit, your connection to source that's always there meditate, clear your mind, be present in your body, be open to mess messages. Again, Mercury rules third house in the chart. And many of us will be planting a seed on the perceptions that may shift and change. I believe that's huge because as we keep going along, there's going to be things continually revealed that may just blow us away. We have Uranus and Taurus, Earth, meaning there could be quick shift in changes, lightning bolt, right? Uranus energy. I keep talking about this because it's a big player in the collective and within us to be able to be adaptable. And that's where the clarity of your mind is super important right now as we move our way more and more energy comes into that gemini energy right so for the sabian symbol like really can we not air air is not only just intellect and in our thoughts but it's also messages from spirit messages from our oversoul our divine guidance from god creator source of the universe she is freaking beautiful. Just beautiful. For the Sabian symbol, because this new moon is taking place at 9 degrees, 3 minutes, we go to the 10 degree Sabian symbol. An airplane falling. The key word is crisis. This symbol, symbol speaks to diving into experience without hesitation or any thought of failure. And with the attitude, whatever difficulties or problems are encou encountered can be successfully resolved when and if they arise. The image of an airplane falling is another of the reversed symbols but here it illustrates the concept to unclutch unclutch and let go what can't be comprehended from the one point of view can be misunderstood from another now this is huge right what can't be comprehended from one point of view can be understood from another different perspectives on a practical level this symbol re suggests relaxing not really an energy of Gemini so we have to make ourselves first get the energy moving through us so we don't have anxiousness 
Secondly, then sit in contemplation, relax, breathe. Going with the flow and being willing to risk or take a chance. It also alludes to the fact that over control and fear can limit your opportunities. On the positive aspect of this new moon in Gemini, at its highest, the symbol represents learning through doing and an intuitive knack for handling crisis competently. So again, a lot of quick changes. Be able to be so clear and sure of yourself. <laughs> that way when something arises that may appear to be an obstacle, you have the opportunity to take care of your business. Know when to, to speak when you need to speak. Know when to hold them and fold them, right? Pick your battles because we because we are going through such evolution quickly right now on the earth plane that all of that information and in, in busyness and agendas can become very taxing. So it's very important for us at this time to have a clarity and a knowing within ourselves, but also being open to see different perspectives, to see how that resonates or does not resonate within us. Wow. On the negative aspect, helplessness, lack of self-direction, and a defeatness attitude, feeling defeated, or a refusal to get involved in anything that requires effort or risk. The ascent is on impulsiveness or diving into an experience without thinking. You may have to take corrective action or deal with some unexpected crises. So it's wanting you to be very clear within yourself on the decisions that you make, like I shared with the Mars-Jupiter conjunction at the time of this new moon. Your greatest advantage lies in keeping your head and concentrating on the task at hand. So be present. Be present. Go with the flow. And stay calm. So this is indicating a lot of fast changes. And it could come through in the collective or even within yourself of information that might just blow your doors off. You have to know who you are and be in your center in clarity of who you truly authentically are. To be able to handle and deal with what you have at hand right now in the present moment. Risk at the time of this new moon. Guard against panic. Avoid the temptation to bail out or quit in defeat before the situation has a chance to right itself. The stepping stones are crisis, decline, downfall, collapse, decrease, descendant, plunge, breakdown, collapse, defeat, failure, drop. So this is the time, like I said, to have clarity because this is indicating that we're going to have to be able to make quick maneuvers, to make quick, uh, be adaptable, to be able to be open to a, a shift in perspective when there's information presented that may just need the time for you to rethink, review, and then reinvent to change the story within and to also change that then changes the story on the outside. So we can't control what everybody else is doing, but we can control how we respond to it. And because this Gemini energy really can bring up a nervousness, it's important to get it moving through us, right? To quiet the mind, to tune in, to listen to yourself to whatever messages may be presented to you by your higher self, great spirit, and also be the observer of the information that is being endlessly propagated by the collective narrative that's been aspiring over the past couple of years and really our whole lifetime and we just didn't know it. So it's important. So beautiful, beautiful. What other deck am I Let's do a native spirit. I'm really feeling 
I'm utilizing this deck more and more, but I think it's important that we get grounded with this air energy. We have a lot of fire, air, and earth, and the only thing we have that was major, major, in that is the south node, I'm not including asteroids this time, um, in Scorpio, which is a deep water sign, fixed water. So what I feel like a lot of us are needing to do, or we have already done, and with that eclipse energy taking place, the full lunar eclipse in Scorpio is we went deep diving emotionally and now we're asked as we're in Gemini season to gain our clarity, to gain our bearings and, and then just allow ourselves to be open to the shifts in perception that we may be presented in this current now. Saturn is still in Aquarius and I do believe it will be going retrograde and it's not at the time of this new moon it's at 25 degrees of Aquarius and it's also in a square with Mercury I do believe let me see well, that's important because Mercury is the ruling planet of this new moon so yeah with the node of north node and a, a loose conjunction or I'm sorry loose uh, is an opposition or square square with Saturn. So the Saturn in Aquarius, Saturn's about limitations and restrictions, but Saturn's also the elder where we've gone and processed many things and we're taking that wisdom forward as the elder, right? Or the goat who goes to the top of the mountain in the sign of fixed Aquarius, which is, you know, innovation, technology, um, but it's also the collective. So with it being in a square with that, it could make you feel a little bit of that tension on direction of going towards that north node but just sit and gain clarity at this time because um, it's an outer planet it also is also more representative of the collective just observe the information that is going to continue to be revealed spirit keeper of the south South to me it means of letting go, but let's see what this says real quick. Then I'll do one I am affirmation and I will let you go for this. <laughs> so you see the beautiful sunlight in the background of this image. Abundance and prosperity in all forms, expansion, surging energy activity, movement, rapid growth, be open to receiving the bounty of the universe. This is the great time for medic this is a great time for medical procedures. Your energy will be at the maximum. So medical to me is not traditional me medical unless you need that, but this is healing medicine as well from being the nature native spirit. In the medicine wheel, the south is the direction that symbolizes the warmth of the noonday sun, summertime, the full moon, and the time of rapid growth. Crops grow with vigor during the summer months. In the human cycle, it is also represents the vitality of childhood. So being childlike, that is total Gemini, right? So be childlike, allowing for the abundance of joy, playfulness, laughter, curiosity, everything of the inner child that may have been suppressed. Wow. In the human cycle, it also represents the vitality of childhood. This is your time to shine. It's also a time of great bounty in all areas of your life. Open your arms to receive gifts from the universe. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere and draw this card, read Spirit Keeper of the North instead for the meaning of it reversed. I don't know if I have anybody tuned in, but... So the journey for this spirit keeper of the south is stand facing the south during midday. Close your eyes and feel the warmth of the sun opening your heart center. Absorb the sunlight as you sense yourself absorbing the abundance of the universe. I'm going outside to do this. That'll be a great way for me to recharge or you to recharge your solar plexus bringing more joy more love more fun more curiosity being charged up 
knowing that you've been in a renewal within yourself and now it is your time to have fun and play and rejuvenate and recharge. So the I am affirmation for the Gemini new moon, and I just flopped all my cards over here. The I am affirmation. Isn't she beautiful? Be open to shift your perspective. Calm your mind. Merge your spirit, your soul. My opinion matters. So a communication card. Gemini is about communication as well because it's ruled by Mercury. Whatever it is that you may have not felt heard in the past, just know within your own self that your feelings matter, that your opinions matter. This isn't the time to put up with the bullshit of being censored. I bring this up often because of watching and witnessing what's happening. People being censored, people not being heard. Back to what I shared yesterday. The natives have been going to the governments for years asking and pleading and begging that we get back in tune with nature, Taurus, Earth, Gaia. Honor, respect, and part of that is that your voice does matter. Everyone's voice matters. That is our message for the new moon in Gemini. I hope you plant a beautiful seed of clarity of your mind. And I hope you're communicating. I also hope that you're finding community to commune with. It's so important that we break away from that big group think of the structures that have wanted to dominate over all of us. The who's, the sorrows, the gates, fuck them people. Find deep, meaningful communication and community. That's when you will feel heard. That's when you will be respected and loved and honored and cherished. We're, we are redoing everything. So gain that clarity of mind. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Plant a beautiful seed until I see you the next time. Shalom, shalom.